get some music going. It's gonna be Maladube again. Forever Maladube. Okay, so... I'm kind of worried, I don't remember the left being so far over. Nope, okay. Okay. Pretty sure... Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead. Today we are drawing a uh, an adorable young boy who wants to be a scientist. And he gets older, so... That's a good color that we haven't already used. I tend to avoid greens and yellows pretty substantially, but there's a fair number of greens and yellows here today. In fact, blues what's really missing overall. I love sea blues, like I love ocean-esque blues. So I uh, purposefully avoid them when I'm trying to be different, <laughs> because I would choose them all the time otherwise. Okay, let's try, let's try it in this lovely blue. Okay, so... We're going to try and do a sciencey background instead of <sighs> instead of a hospital background. Let's see. There's been a fair amount of requests for like scenes so far, which is cool. It's just it changes the way that I plot my picture. Instead of focusing entirely on Maybe that's good enough to start with. I can I can work that into a, a shape that I can use. I did I did accidentally leave it on random. Okay. Not that there's ever any complaints to be had with Sonic the Hedgehog, but you set yourself up for a specific mood and then you defy yourself. So there we go. Uh, it's starting to look a little bit more like Is this the song I'm thinking of? Oh yes it is. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm doing it again. Like, obviously I shouldn't be detailing anything right now. I have not even made sure that the ears seem like they're on the right plane with each other. I hope you'll pardon the fact that I'm still kind of exploring ratios between people's bodies, essentially. And especially, I normally draw adults, or I guess maybe as young as teenagers. I don't often draw kids, so getting the ratio of a child's head and face and everything is a little different for me. Which is okay, because I love kids and I would like to draw them more. But I just haven't had the occasion to before now. This is what I'm really enjoying about the requests, and why 
I decided to do another request thread in another group so soon after the last one I did is it keeps me drawing things that I would never draw on my own because I just wouldn't think of it. I just wouldn't think to draw like any of the things that I've drawn so far and it's really nice to uh, to have other people prompting me so I have the will to draw things that I wouldn't normally draw as well. Like I might think that, oh yeah, I should draw more more children, more dogs, more scenes, things like that, but like, when I got down to drawing on my own, I would just stick to my comfort zone. I wouldn't draw any of the dogs or the kids or anything. I would just continue to do what feels good to me. What doesn't feel like it's challenging me at all, so... It's very good. Like, even life drawings that I prompt myself to do, are still usually adults, uh, adult humans, and there's little challenge to it because I'm already very familiar with drawing adult humans in various poses. So it's really a nice challenge doing these threads. I really quite enjoy it missing an entire dimension to his ear and I need to figure out how to include it without looking weird. <laughs> Again, I shouldn't be detailing things at this point. I haven't even gotten down like the background or the body or anything. I'm just obsessed with detailing. I love ears and I will always take a moment to detail ears and that's my my dark secret and I'm sticking to it. Um, ears and hands, I will just stop whatever I'm doing to detail the crap out of them. And that's the problem that I've been having with life drawing as well, is that I get to the hands or the ears and I just break, break away from what I should be doing. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait until I can actually put that into greater perspective. So... Okay. I'm seeing problems here. I still haven't made his head high enough. Okay. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, and I can tell that his head's his jaw is too short as well. I need to divide it into sectors. No! What am I doing? Oh, yes. I knew it, like, it's just, like, now I need to widen the ears, and it's like, well, then isn't it just that I need to put everything back into ratio and decide that some parts are smaller than others? Like, what the heck? Why would I need to move the ears apart if I've... What? Anyway...
I guess it's the size of the ears that my brain is going, yeah, now move them apart, like, and now make this bigger, and move those apart, and it's just like, yeah, but... Like, if I make the head longer and the ears further apart, then am I not just scaling it up? Am I not just making it overall a larger picture? Like, why, why in the name of anything would it be this way? No, this looks ridiculous. I'm too focused on the chubbiness of the cheeks. The adorable childness of the cheeks. I have no doubt that this is probably going to be a super cute picture. So, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not like, oh, my art sucks and I'll never be able to draw a child in this picture. It's just sort of like a weird to watch myself do this because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm figuring it out as I go along and that's 99% of art for me is just doing that and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but if the subject is cute then inherently there will always be some cuteness to it so it's a pretty low stakes gamble essentially It's what I've noticed still about a lot of artists that I enjoy that, yeah, if I saw them draw certain things, I think, oh man, that looks terrible. But because they draw things that are inherently cute to me or enjoyable, I will always think that they're pretty good. And I wonder if that's basically how it is with these requests, essentially. I'm drawing cute things for people, things that people already find enjoyable, cute or nostalgic, and... So inherently, it's always going to be at least pretty good. I know that's not everything. Like, if I'd done this ten years ago, I don't know. Ten years ago, I was actually pretty much this good. I've lost a lot of skill from not drawing very much over the last ten years. But if I'd done this fifteen years ago, you can bet it would have looked like really horrible. I would have burned everything related to the request if I'd done this 15 years ago. I haven't burnt any of my art, so it's kind of an exaggeration, but you can bet that's how I would feel anyway. I would feel like I should burn everything related to it. If I wanted to depress myself, I'd just go back through and like look at them and be like, and you think you had some sort of talent or ability back then. Never, never get too confident. Remember how you used to draw. That's, that's more likely for an artist to do, really. Aren't ears just amazing? Like, they have such beautiful shapes inside. Like, A++ ears, A++, way to do, uh, like, nature things right. Most of human bodies are fairly nondescript and, and not particularly noteworthy on their own, but the inside content of an ear is, an, a, like, a menagerie of beautiful shapes. So if you told me, ten years ago, that I would live in France, that I would have a French daughter and a French partner, and that it would become part of my life, that I would have to learn French, I think I'd have a meltdown, I think I'd have a panic attack. I have never liked French. It's not that I don't like languages. I love languages. I've never liked French as a language. 
it's not fair to say never. I did try to learn French 